guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the blue room or whatever so today i'm listening to joni mitchell the magdalene laundries let's get into the video yes i want to know what inspired magdalene laundries oh well i live in british columbia as much as i possibly can um, because I'm absent sometimes, I have a, a man named Hans who he and his family caretake my place. And Hans, sucking on his pipe, said to me one day, you know, Joni, you're basically a cheerful person, but you write these melancholy songs. He said, seems to me that you should write more in the daylight. You're always writing at night. So I sat out in the sun on a rock and I tuned my guitar to the sound of that day because I play in open tunings like ragas. So I tuned to the, to the crows and the seagulls and, and the, the, the sonic references available. And it was a fairly cheerful chord progression. Mm, you know, well, a little melancholy in it because beauty has a little. So it's Magdalene Laundries. I completely butcher that and did not pronounce that right. Okay. But um, anyway, I intended to write quite a cheery lyric to it. Well, I went to the supermarket to get my groceries and standing in the line between the Inquirer and the Star was the Vancouver Sun. and. I never bought a paper in my life. What possessed me, I don't know. But I picked this paper up, and I never got past the first page. To the left hand of the page was a story that, out of Ireland that the sisters of Our Lady of Charity outside of Dublin, which was a nunnery, had sold 11 and a half acres to realtors. The realtors, in plowing this land for development, unearthed over 100 bodies and unmarked graves, thus opening up a scandal that had rocked Dublin from they said 1800 to 1970, these laundries were closed. Basically, the Magdalene laundries, which stood outside of, uh, there was an, uh, every major Irish town and maybe some minor ones, um, employed, well, employed, uh, took as slave labor fallen women. Fallen women were classified as the obvious, I guess, prostitutes. So I forgot to say this. This is a, this is a patient request from Mauricio. Mauricio, we have beef, I'll text you. Um, uh, unmarried mothers, frequently impregnated by their parish priest, their father, their brother. But the worst of all was that an unmarried woman in her late 20s, if the men of the village were looking at her, she could be deemed a Jezebel by the parishioners and even okay. her own family for her indecisiveness in choosing a mate and incarcerated for life, or at least until somebody managed to, to, to get her out of there. This was cheap labor. Dickensian conditions was the way it was described. Well, you know, uh, there went my cheerful song. So, I mean, <laughs> this is the story of the Magdalene Laundry. That is so unfair. That is so unfair. I like, make it make sense. I was an unmarried girl I'd just turned 27 When they sent me to the sisters For the way men looked at me Branded as a Jezebel I'm just thinking of how she said um, Person said to her that she's such a cheerful person And her music are always so sad But when there's there are like sad stories, like things like this. I guess somebody has to speak about it. For heaven, I'd be cast in shame into the Magdalene laundries. Most girls come here pregnant some by their own fathers Bridget got the by their own fathers like this is bringing back so much bad memories not for me 
of a movie that I watched recently and it's like not this very same thing but it's very close and it's just like I hate it I hate it by her parish priest we're trying to get things white as snow all of us will be gotten daughters in the steaming stains of the Is like me, fallen women sentenced into dreamless drudgery. Why do they call this heartless place our lady of charity? Oh, charity. Bloodless brides of Jesus, if they had just once glimpsed their broom, then they'd know. And they drop those. He does have, have a lovely voice, though, but just the message and all this is just like mad sad. Stones concealed behind the rosaries. They wilt the grass they walk upon, they leech the light out of a room. They'd like to drive us down the drain at the Magdalene laundries. Peg O'Connell died today. She was a cheeky girl, a flirt. They just stuffed her in a hole. Surely to God you'd think at least some bells should ring. To think that like this is literally somebody's story, to think that literally this is something that has happened to persons, like literally somebody living through this at the moment, like that is that is insane. Plant me in the dirt like some lame bulb that never blooms come any spring. No, not any spring. in the glasses that was some um, very enthused clapping that was a sad song that like kind of made me depressed but I will say that she is a good singer something about her voice and the way that she sings and tells the story kind of captures you I will say that <sighs> this, was, this was heavy I'm not gonna lie this was heavy also uh, i'm sure you're here and seeing all this and like uh. however if you like this reaction please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next TED talk or whatever